In this video, I'm going to show you how you can unlock the epic quality crafting bench. But to do that, you're going to need brute scales. And in this video, I'm also going to show you how to get brute scales. Now, brute scales are from an enemy. And the reason why you need it is because if I go to my crafting bench and I go bench upgrade, if you want to unlock the purple quality, epic quality ingredients and, you know, recipes, you're going to need copper bars, which you basically have to make a metal smelter for, which we did in a previous video to make copper bars with copper and bright core. We're also going to need obsidian slabs, which you just have to take obsidian to the stone breaker machine and you can turn obsidian into obsidian slab. And the very final ingredient is a brute scale, a scale left behind by fallen brutes. Now brutes are enemies. <laughs> they're, they're enemies. So we're, we're going to go find them. I highly recommend making yourself a recurve crossbow for this. This one over here, the blue quality one with the flex wood rod and the drawstring, really not, not too like expensive to make this thing. You can also make arrows over here as well. I'd even recommend if you can make some dynamite because you're going to have to deal a ton of damage to these brutes because they're quite strong. I also recommend talking to one of your villagers like Silas over here and give him a job and tell him let's explore. This means he's going to follow you out of the world. He's going to help you fight. And then I also recommend going to him continue okay say take this and then give him as high quality as a sword that you can that you can craft because you're going to want him to have a good sword so that he can fight alongside you because the brutes are quite difficult and we're not going to the desert ones the desert ones are way more difficult we're actually going to find one in the grasslands but they're they are quite rare so it seems the ones that I found are usually on the border between two biomes. This is actually like the third one that I found that I've realized is either between the grasslands and the dry valley. This one is between the, the grasslands and the shore biome. You can see it's in the distance there. I'm sure you've probably seen this thing once or twice. If you've probably encountered it before now, it's probably kicked your, your ass quite, quite hard. And we're going to use a crossbow and we're going to try, I'm going to try to get as many shots in here as I can. Oh, he shoots back. Okay, let's see if I can keep whacking him. Just shoot, shoot faster. He's not even moving. What the hell? If I just fight him from here, he doesn't even move. I think he blew up a planter. Oh, damn, that's poison. My bad. Oh, here he comes. Oh, shit. He hurts a lot. He, he just killed my friend. He killed my villager. Oh, boy. Okay, so that's that's not good. Uh, yeah, the crossbow strategy is probably the best way. You're also going to have to dodge because he, even with armor, he hits like a truck. The best way to fight these guys is seemingly by using a crossbow because I don't want to get near him and hit with him with a sword because he's, he's super rough. But once you do kill him, you'll see here, he does drop a brute scale, <laughs> which was terrifying. So if I had to suggest a method, honestly, bring that crossbow, bring like 60 arrows and you should be able to kill it as long as you're doing 10 damage and you're hitting it and running away and dodging as much as you can. Now that we have that brute scale, we can return to our village, go back to our crafting bench. Please move sunflower, go to crafting bench, bench upgrade, and now you should be able to craft and upgrade your crafting bench. Just put all the resources in your inventory and you're good to go. And then you can upgrade the bench just like this and it will change the look yet again. Looks super fancy now, pretty cool. And you also unlock new recipes. I wish you good luck on your progress on getting this upgrade done and thank you so much for watching this video.